What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back. In today's video we are checking out a massive phone. The one that I have here today is called the Ulefone Power Armor 16 Pro. Of course this phone is shockproof and also waterproof, but this phone weights 405 grams. One of the heaviest phones that I got um, to try. If you're keeping this in your pants, it's literally gonna pull down your pants, it's that um, heavy. Now inside it we have a 9600 mAh battery, so at least you're not gonna have to charge this every day, you can probably go for 2 or 3 days before charging it. And it also supports, well, fast charging, kind of fast charging, 18 watt fast charging. Still not the fastest charging out there, but at least you can get it um, to 100% in about 2.5 um, hours. Now this phone also has something a bit different than all other phones that I got to try. This is basically a speaker on top of um, a phone if that makes sense. So on the back here we have a massive speaker, I'm assuming that has a lot to do with the weight. So if you want a speaker that's also a phone, maybe get this phone because it is extremely loud, it's almost like um, carrying a speaker with you. Now. I can play a, a short clip so you can hear how it sounds, but I'm pretty sure that the microphone here is not gonna capture the sound um, as it is from the phone, but we'll try anyways. So this is a short recording so you can hear how loud this speaker gets, but it is extremely loud. So if you want a speaker that's also a phone, well this is pretty much your only option. We also have a big um, flashlight um, at the top here. So you can customize the key that we have on the left hand side here to open certain apps or to open that flashlight depending what um, you want to do with it. On the right hand side here we have the power button and the volume keys and the power button is also a fingerprint scanner. Not the fastest out there but um, it works most of the time. And you can also plug in... Uh, some headphones to this because we do have a 3.5mm audio jack at the bottom next to the USB-C charging port. Now this phone is powered by the old MediaTek Helio G25 that's paired with 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage. And unfortunately on the Antutu benchmark you're gonna get a score of about 100,000, so this is a score that we used to get, I don't know, five years ago from flagships, well not even, flagships are getting higher scores than that. So this phone is pretty slow, like pretty much anything that you're gonna do with it lags. If you're opening Chrome it lags, if you're switching in between tabs it lags. So don't imagine for a second that you're gonna be able to play any games on this phone. This is actually the slowest phone that I got to try in the past two years I'm gonna say, maybe three years, so it is definitely not a fast um, phone, so keep that um, in mind. Now on the front here we have a 5.93 inches um, IPS panel that um, has a resolution of 720p. The screen doesn't look bad if you are indoors, but as soon as you take the phone outside you can barely see the screen, so the screen doesn't get that bright um, either. So I mean when you have an outdoor phone at least the screen should be a bit brighter so you can see it because like this you can't exactly see it. The cameras on it are also pretty mediocre but that's the case with pretty much all rugged devices available on the market. So yes you can still take some pictures but don't expect any mind blowing pictures. As for video recordings, well, no um, video stabilization and the video quality is not um, that great. And these are a couple of um, pictures that I took around uh, the house here. So don't expect any crazy good pictures from this. But in all fairness, this is a pretty cheap phone. I mean, I think you can buy it for about $160. So you can't really buy anything else for that uh, money that's half decent. So. Considering the price, you can't really say too many bad things about this phone. 
Now, surprisingly enough, we even get an NFC chip inside it. So you could use this to make payments. So you can go to a store, make a payment, buy something while listening to music from that massive speaker that we have on the back. And the GPS unit inside it also works good. So you're gonna be able to get home because you will be able to use Google Maps. So the GPS inside it actually works pretty decent, it takes about three seconds to find your location, but it doesn't seem to lose it. You can also get a bunch of accessories for this, something that you don't typically see with a lot of phones. So for example, we have a charging dock. So you can have this charging on your desk. There is also a case that you can get and you can also get one of these um, endoscope cameras. So we have a connector on the left hand side of the phone here. You can basically connect that um, camera to that and I don't know, then you can look into pipes or something like that. Even though the quality from this camera is uh, far from um, great. So it is a unique phone in many ways, mostly because we have that massive speaker um, on the back. But aside from that speaker, there isn't much going for um, this phone. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.